Hello and welcome back. Now I'm going to go over the new MIDI features in Waveform 12. The first new feature is Fold. When you open a clip in the MIDI editor, normally you see all the notes. With MIDI Fold, you can restrict the notes that are shown. From the View button, you can show only notes and key. Since my key is right now C major, I only see the notes in C major. If I want to see even less notes, I can say only show notes in use. Now I'm only seeing notes that I've used. The final option, show name notes, is more useful when dealing with drums, and I'll show that later. Another new tool is the MIDI knife. I can take the knife, find one existing note, and slice it into multiple notes. Another new feature is the MIDI event list. It takes all the events in this clip, notes, controllers, mod wheel, puts them into one big list. This list is fairly overwhelming, so you can hide anything you're not currently interested in, such as controllers, aftertouch, pitch wheel, bring it down to what you're currently interested in editing. This view is useful because it lets you see all the notes, all the controllers in one big list, where in the normal MIDI editor you might have to be constantly flipping between controller lanes. To make your MIDI sound more human, if you enter it manually, a new feature is randomize. If I want the velocity of all these notes to be slightly different, I can right click Randomize velocity. I can also randomize the pitch, the start, and the length. Now I'll say more human. More human will group the velocities around a center point, and only a few will have more random values. I can choose between set value and current value. Current value will take the current velocity and add a small random value to it, whereas set value will let you set a center value and then apply a little bit of randomness. And as I turn up the strength, you can see the velocities are getting more random. As I turn down the strength, you can see they all come back together. Another new feature is controller data follows the notes. So I've entered this note and I have some mod wheel. And if I move the notes, I obviously want the mod wheel to stay in time with the notes. So I go to the function menu, make sure lock CC data to notes is on. And now when I pull these notes, the controller data moves along with them. As well, controller data can now be copied and pasted. So I can select this and copy it into a different controller lane. Another new feature is strum. So if I have this chord and I'm sending it into a guitar synth and I want it to sound more natural, like a guitar player would play it, I select all the notes, then hold down control and grab the start of the note and pull it slightly to strum. If I want to strum the other direction, then I grab the notes from the bottom and pull. It's a quick way to make your guitars that are programmed with MIDI sound more natural. If we come to a step clip, we will see that the fold modes um, apply as well. So we can say notes and key, which doesn't make a lot of sense for drums. Uh, but notes in use will help really help pull down the lanes if you have a lot of empty lanes. And show name notes will show all the drums that are named by the current synth on the track. If you prefer editing your drums in the MIDI editor rather than uh, in the step clips, the length of MIDI notes has no meaning when you're dealing with drums often. So from the view menu, you can select drum grid, and now each note 
is just represented by a hit. And it's one click to add new ones. To make your drums sound more realistic, there's an option to add a bit of randomness to them. Let's take this drum beat, for example, if I play it. The pattern's always the same. If I want a little vi variation in the hi-hats, I can hit the P for probability, turn the probability down a bit, now these notes will play randomly when the clip is played. So if I play it again, you can hear the hi-hat pattern is different every time. Built-in synths like the drum sampler and the multi-sampler can name the notes. Some external synths as well VST and VST3 can provide note names as well, but some synths don't provide note names. So we've added the MIDI note name utility plugin. So we open it up, import names. We have presets we ship with, such as Empty Power Drum Kit. So now when I create a new step clip on this track, It will immediately know all the names of drums that are in empty power drum kit and the lanes will all be named appropriately. Another new MIDI utility plugin is the MIDI CC. If you have a plugin that responds to control changes but doesn't allow automation for the mod wheel, for example, I can choose the mod wheel and now my first automatable parameter will be sent to the mod wheel of the following synth. So if I pull on an LFO, assign it to CC1, now I have an LFO controlling the mod wheel of my synth. Those are the new MIDI features in Waveform 12. I hope they make your MIDI editing a lot easier.